on YouTube. So we're gonna start another project. And as you can see, uh, it was time when we bought the boat. It had all Garmin electronics, Garmin open array radar, autopilot, uh, two 7612 screens. But unfortunately, um, the autopilot part pump, not the pump, but the uh, controller died out on me and that was gonna be about $500 to replace. The, X, or the uh, open array radar just suddenly stopped working and after months of trying to fix it, I said screw it and got rid of it, ripped it out, cut the wires off and um, it's been about two years in the making but we are going to redo the entire dash. I ordered all new Furuno stuff so I got a Furuno open array, two TZT3 12 inch screens, a new um, VHF radio and a new Fusion radio autopilot's coming but we don't have it just yet so what i'm gonna do and this video is specifically for um building my dash panel and installing everything but uh, the cv has this really nice box but unfortunately you know the, the acrylic dash opens and closes well i always like i'm always touching my screens and i'm running so i figured well i'm not really utilizing the fact that it's closed all the time so i said screw it i'm gonna remove this box People are putting phones up here and I'm gonna bring out this glass, flush mount it right here, and all of my electronics will be flush mounted. Um, we're gonna see how it looks. I gotta kind of map it out on the uh, dash, but I bought an acrylic carbon fiber dash panel. That's about a quarter inch. And then I've made, so far, a backer board, which I'm gonna pop in there like this once I get it fine tuned and then the acrylic is gonna go over that and that way I have about three quarters of an inch to uh, grip onto. The Furunos actually connect from the back. So you pop them in and then they screw in from the back and put pressure on your dash. So I'm gonna go ahead and mock this up, get everything cut and squared away and we're gonna install some new electronics. First step was removing all the old electronics and now I'm gonna go ahead and get, you know, some like, scrubbing bubbles or whatever just clean this all up uh, try to wipe off some of these rust stains from the old screw mounts but uh, we're just gonna wipe it all down I'm gonna use my scraper I mean try to just scrape that a little clean because it's just some old 4200 stuck on there uh, but we've got everything removed and we're gonna go ahead and dry fit up the panel I'm gonna cut some strips that can be fastened right here so the panel has something to back on. I'm gonna put one in the middle, probably here to here, because I want, obviously you can see where the old notches were for the centers of my 12s. And Furuno also has notches. So I may end up cutting some of this out even more, but I'm gonna put kind of a frame and then one down the middle. So that way there's some support. Because again, these screens, they pull into your dash like this. So I'm not worried about it all shaking loose or anything like that, because it's all gonna be sealed properly. But uh, clean it up and start fitting stuff. So to cut the acrylic and PVC board, I went to Lowe's and I bought a fine finish. I was actually looking for a blade that actually is spe specially or specifically designed for acrylic. And the guy said they don't sell them. He said, this is the best thing just to go super slow and use the, the finest tooth saw blade we could find. So we're gonna go ahead and start ripping it on this. So here we have the carbon fiber acrylic panel. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Um, I bought this on Amazon, it was like 75 bucks. Directions say to cut from the back, which is black, just solid acrylic in the front here. So when I cut it, I'm gonna end up taping, putting blue painter's tape over this whole thing. So that way when I slide it across this, it doesn't scratch. Even though there is a protective film on this, I just don't want to risk scratching it because I mean, 75 bucks and I really don't want to wait to get another one. I have made countless templates for the boat. Uh, I've written down the measurements. The CV console actually kind of is a little bit skinnier at the top than it is on the bottom. So we'll have to find the center line, measure out from there. But uh, let's go ahead and get to ripping this and then we can go fit it on the boat. Measure twice, three times, four times, whatever. Hopefully cut once. Uh, the top is 16 and 5 16 the bottom is 16 and 5 8 so there's ever so slight, I mean you can see it right here, there's just a slight 
indent. And uh, I'm gonna rip it here on this saw and we're gonna hope that it turns out pretty nice. Here we go. All right, so I got it. I mean, that's pretty darn clean and there's gonna put black silicone around all the edges, but I've got this corner here that's just, I mean, I need, I need less than an eighth of an inch off. So I'm just gonna use a sander the whole side's good except for about right here to here so i'm just going to sand that off so that i get a perfect fit and then i'll probably have to go behind and pop this out and we're going to start fitting it in all right so i've built some corner supports here on starboard that are going to be screwed into this so i'm going to put this piece in right here even in the middle which who knows i may have to trim these sides a little bit more for the furno side clips but we'll see I'm gonna screw this board into these supports. And then on the back side, I'm gonna use my custom weld mounts, which are basically just screws with big washers on them to fix everything together. I can kind of already tell right now that I'm gonna have to get the sander out and sand some of those mounts down just a little bit because it's not, I mean, it's like a couple, it's a millimeter or two, just proud. Um, I mean, I can just feel, well, that's perfect right there, but I can just feel right here where it's a little bit proud. So I'm gonna get the sander, sand all of those points just a little bit. Then I'll be pressing it on, but for now, I've had enough. It's uh, unseasonably warm here in Florida. So we're gonna leave it alone for the night. All right, I think that is gonna be the layout. You know what they say, measure 47 times first cut once because now that I got that panel to fit perfectly on the boat um, I think this is the layout that I like we're gonna go fusion radio the VHF and then twin TZ 12s and that leaves this space here in case I ever want to put you know another screen for engine data or something like that maybe I upgrade to Mercury's in the future who knows but uh or I just put like a CV logo or who knows you know get a final sticker but I think that's the layout we're gonna go with so we're gonna go ahead and cut it out as careful as possible and then go fit it on the boat. I got to get some black silicone. So I got the panel cut out. Um, I bought a fiberglass blade for my jigsaw and there's the insert backing. <clears throat> I think if I ever do this again, I'm going to take my multi-tool and I'm just going to plunge cut because what happened, you can see here and right here was the jigsaw got so hot the blade that it started melting the acrylic a little bit and it actually melted those two pieces together. So I had to just kind of carefully separate it. I'm actually gonna sand these rough edges smooth um, just on the inside so that when I do, I gotta sand that. But you can see, you can see where the acrylic started kind of melting back. And so I was, I jigsaw this whole circle and it wouldn't come out because it had kind of liquefied and re-glued itself back together. So I had to kind of do it in pieces and then use a blade to cut it, but we got it. Got it all cut out, everything looks nice and it fits well in the boat. So I'm just gonna sand these up. And then I've drilled my holes for my, call it weld studs. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take a bolt and I'll put a washer on it and then I'm gonna epoxy it down to that side. So that way, when I fit that on, I can put, when I fit that on, I can put another washer and a, um, a lock washer on the boat. So I've got a little mark right there, a little mark right there. And so those are the areas, a little mark right there. Those are the areas, one right there. And there should be two up here, one there one there. So there's going to be six points holding this all together. Obviously the Furuno is going to sandwich it all together, but um, just trying to reinforce it a little in case we hit a big wave and everything starts to shake. I don't want my dash to crack or get ruined. So that's where we're at. So now what I've done is I've taken a drill bit for the washer and just, just barely hollowed these out. So they're flush because these are not perfect weld studs. They're actual bolts with a washer on them. So I'm gonna put a bunch of uh, black 4,000 fast curing silicone on the inside of this when I go to press everything together. So I wanna make sure that 
everything is as flush as possible so that I don't have to go and pull the whole dash back out and uh, you know redo basically what I've done. So I skipped a few steps because well this is custom and it took a little finagling to get these these uh, locking pieces in here just right so the sat flush but uh, I've put in my black 4000 marine silicone um, this thing is that's pretty damn solid uh, everything's cut out perfect I might have to sand just this little exposed white to make it perfectly flush here and here but overall I'm very happy I'm letting this all cure it's supposed to take an hour I pulled off the protective film that's a carbon fiber finish and uh, I'm gonna end up having to relocate my NMEA bus bar but either way uh, all I have to do now is go get some heat shrink connections and I can go ahead and start wiring stuff right in my breaker. I'm going to clean up all the wiring after it's installed. I just want to see it on and working. So v, uh, fusion radio, VHF, two for an OTZ Touch 12s. Going to get those installed in the next day or two and we'll update. And there you have it. Uh, I've got everything Installed, connected, hooked up. I just have to mount my VHF, which I'm probably gonna put like right there. I think that'll be kind of, I don't really want it up by the screen or on the side too far. So I think right there is gonna be where it's gonna go. But uh, everything's installed. I gotta wipe down a little bit with some uh, alcohol. I think it looks pretty clean for a uh, my professional not really amateur job I'm very happy with the install still gonna make a bottom panel there which I'm gonna do later don't need to bore you guys with that but we got it in just gonna do some, some cleanup but very happy I think it looks really good Woo, baby, we live. got a lot of uh, cleanup to do but we'll do that another day right now we're gonna enjoy the fishing Oh shit. Look at the freaking target separation difference. Well, like that's my neighbor's house? Yeah. That's straight ahead. Well, just how narrow they are. Yeah. How narrow the things are. And look, you can go into here and turn on res boost. Yeah. It actually uses filtering. So the target is so cool. narrower. Yeah. 